Yes, I use both Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. I've not made a complete switch from one to the other. And that's because I wouldn't necessarily say that one is better than the other. Does this make sense? Let me explain. Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. As a filmmaker, you have to deal with a lot of different situations and tools for these situations each and every day. Hardware tools, of course, and software tools. And as much as I would love to say that there is this one software package that can do it all, I simply cannot do that. I'm working with non-linear editing tools or NLEs, as they say, for a couple of years now. I started using Avid, later Final Cut, and today, as I said, I'm working with DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. And I decide on a project-to-project -project basis which tool I want to use. Both have their strength and both have their weaknesses. And without making any claim to completeness here, I would now like to list a couple of these strengths and weaknesses that are important for me and my decision-making process. Let's start with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci has without doubt the more mature color correction, color grading tool set. Well, Premiere is not bad at it. Don't get me wrong, in the Lumetri panel you can do quite a lot and it gets better with every iteration. But still, compared to Resolve, mm, sorry Premiere fanboys. Resolve has a long history in color grading. That is where they really shine. I know it might look a bit intimidating at first glance with all the notes and stuff, especially if you've never worked with it before. But once you get used to it, trust me, you will be able to work as fast, if not faster, as in Premiere. Another thing I like about Resolve is the integration of Blackmagic's own compositing tool Fusion, which is very, very powerful. In 2014, Blackmagic Design purchased the company Ion, and with that purchase, they brought Fusion under their roof. That's been a super smart move, if you ask me. And the next smart move was the integration of Fusion into DaVinci Resolve 15. Still, it's possible to use Fusion as a standalone piece of software, which has its advantages, no doubt. But for a lot of simple tasks, like lower thirds or text animation, for example, it is very welcome that Fusion is now directly available in Resolve. It's just another tab and it works great. I like that. On the other hand, we have Premiere Pro now. For a lot of Resolve enthusiasts, an absolute no-go. And let's be honest, oftentimes it's because of money. Resolve is a one-time payment thing. Premiere is part of Adobe's Creative Cloud and therefore you have to deal with their subscription model. I don't want to dive too deep into that topic right now because I think that's worth a whole video on its own. Just note that I made my peace with it a long time ago for several reasons. One of which is that if you work together with other creatives or agencies, they at some point will send you their project files to work with. And they usually don't send you fusion comms, believe it or not you'll get After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator, or Premiere files. And those are the files that you then have to work with. And call me crazy, but I don't want to spend my time converting data all day long. The majority of the people who work with media content is working with Adobe software. So having access to the Adobe product family at all times is a must for me. For me. Next point on my list. I'm not a huge fan of DaVinci's data handling. In that regard, I like Premiere way better. In Premiere, I just start a project, import my files, cut, trim, do all the things necessary. And when I want to switch from my laptop to my desktop PC, 
I just have to unplug the SSD and take it with me. I have my own file structure. That's what I feel comfortable with. In Resolve, on the other hand, I always forget to work in the right database. And while I understand what it's there for, I think they made it more complicated than it needs to be in this regard. Okay, to conclude this, I'm not really into this black and white, all or nothing mentality. For me personally, it's the combination of Premiere and Resolve at the moment. That might change at some point, who knows? But I honestly don't want to sell you anything here. The choice is still yours. But if I would have to recommend something, it would probably be this. If you are just starting out today, chances are that you don't have much money to spend. In that case, Resolve's free version is an absolute no-brainer. Download, install, learn and use it. An upgrade once you feel ready. Nothing's wrong with that. And none of the tools Adobe has to offer can compete with that. But at the same time, I would almost always argue that it's never a good idea to put all your eggs in one basket. And that's also true for becoming a video editor. It does not hurt to take an educated look around. <laughs> and now I'm curious, what are you working with and why? Just write me a comment down below if you want to let me know. <laughs> and that, my friends, is it for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if so, <laughs> and if you really, really, really liked it, consider subscribing. That would be much appreciated and help this channel grow. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now.